Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Gary Hibner here, a YouTube guitarist from South Africa. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you get modern metal bass tones in your production. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can just take a regular bass and use the plugins and Amsim that you've got to create a nice high gain modern metal bass tone in your productions. Now, as you can see, I'm not using anything too fancy. This isn't a dingle or something. This is just a Ibanez BTB 200 that I picked up on the used market for a nice price. And what I did was I chucked some heavy gauge strings on this and tuned it down to drop A sharp. Now I do have a previous video where I talk about what I did with the setup. I'll leave a link in the description. But more importantly, I just want to show you how you can take probably the bass that you've got and get a similar tone. So first, let me give you a playthrough of the bass in a full production so you can hear what it sounds like. And then I'll cut to just the bass and the drums so you can hear the bass tone that we're going to be aiming for. On the bass, I'm using the bridge pickup. So on the mix blend dial, I'm turning it all the way over to the bridge. So you're hearing just the bridge. So now let's jump into the DW. Okay, so let me talk about the setup that I've got here. I've recorded a bass part and I've created two bass tracks. I've got bass clean and bass distortion. So basically each bass part is gonna sit on a specific frequency range. Let's go over the bass clean first. So on the bass clean, this is my raw DR signal. Nothing too fancy. Now let's take a look at what processing we do. So on the bass clean, I've added an EQ and what I've done with this EQ is I've used a high cut and cut out anything that is above 140 hertz. So we basically just left with the low subs. So we've got this. So you're just getting the cleans on those low subs. Then just to help even out the dynamics, I've got a compressor on there. I've got a ratio of about six to one and then I've just pulled this threshold down so that I've got round about minus three dB of gain reduction. I've used a very short attack and release and then just some makeup gain to make up for the gain loss. So really nothing too fancy there just to even out those dynamics. And then after that, I've added some saturation with the saturation knob, which is a free plugin from Softube and PreSonus that you can add in any DAW. And basically I've got it on the keep low setting and just a mild bit of saturation. Now for the saturation part of the bass, here I'm using an Amsim. You can really use any Amsim that you like to use, but for demonstration purposes here, I'm using Otto Audio's 1111. I also got a video over here where I do a playthrough and a full review on the plugin so you can hear what this Amsim sounds like. Also, Otto Audio has given me an affiliate link if you want to get 50% off the Otto Audio plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. It's a great way to support this channel and also a great way to support this developer. Like I said, it's my go-to amp and you really can get some great tones from it. Over here on the next track, I'm adding an EQ and with the EQ, I'm cutting out any of the lows because the lows are going to be in that clean track. So anything below 350 hertz, I don't want, so I'm adding a low cut. And as well, you don't want this to clash with the guitars. So the guitars are sitting in the mids. So what I'm doing is in the low mids, I'm doing a cut at 550 hertz and then another cut at around about 870 hertz. So as you can see from this little diagram over here with the EQ, there is a cut over there. Then for the saturation, you can use any amp sim that you've got in your collection. So I'll just open up the amp sim so you can look here. Basically what you want is a nice high gain amp tone, but you do cut back on the amount of gain that you're using. And I've also cut back on the bass and the mids and boosted the treble and the presence. So just with the distortion bass tone, this is what we got. Now, the key thing is here, 
by blending the two together. So here is the clean channel and the distortion channel. Now that is really what we're going for. You're getting that nice clean in the lows, you're getting that sort of boost in that low mids, but then you've got the saturation in the high bands. Okay, so now I'm gonna play back the verse and chorus section. And what I'm gonna do is mute the bass, and then I'm gonna bring the bass back in so you can hear what a huge impact that bass is having on the production. So as you can see, it's a really simple technique to do. Basically what you're doing is just splitting up the bass into two tracks where the one has got the low subs and it's clean and the other one has got the more higher frequencies and it's saturated and distorted. If you wanna know some more tips and tricks on modern metal style production, I've also got a full course on the Groove 3 platform where I've done a full video series going over all the types of things like guitars, bass, drums, and vocals as well. So if you want to know more about this course, I am giving away a 14-day free trial to the Groove3 platform. All you have to do is go to my website, sign up to my mailing list, and I'll send you a code for that. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Also, give me some comments. I'd like to hear below on what you think and what you do with your bass tones. And also, if you're a new subscriber or if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified of future videos. And if you want to support the channel in other ways, I've also started a Patreon membership with different tiers with different benefits. For example, you get some call outs at the end of the video through to some behind the scenes and a private Discord server. And I'd just like to give a shout out to my Patreons. That's Stefan Selmak and Apoplexia. Thanks so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.